Captain's log supplemental. After placing the modified tricorder on the Romulan ship, we have returned to the Enterprise. I have reached engineering, Captain. Standing by. Acknowledge. Counselor, are you in position? Ready, Captain. All right, Mr. Data. Initiating tricorder emissions. has been reversed, sir. Be ready to stop the power transfer, Mr. Data. Aye, sir. You must stop! Specified energy systems have been initialized. The power transfer can now be engaged. Do not initiate that power transfer. I'm sorry, sir. I already have. We must shut it down. The transfer beam is at saturation, sir. It can't be disengaged. Computer, place a level three containment field around the warp core. Containment field activated. Ah! Damage report. Shields down to 27 percent. No time to explain, number one. Continue the evacuation of the Romulan ship. You'll find the forge in the Romulan engine room. Beam him directly to sick bay. Step back, now. It's all right, Deanna. He wasn't firing at me. There was an alien here who'd taken Romulan form. I was firing at her. The doctor got in the way. Where did she go? Status, Mr. Data. I was attacked by another alien, sir. I was unable to prevent the power transfer. It cannot be disengaged, sir. A core breach is again imminent. Can we move the ship? The feedback from the transfer beam would tear us apart. Patch me into the navigational control of the runabout. Got it. I'm bringing the runabout in. breach has been prevented, sir. Data, it appears that severing the power transfer has not only prevented the core breach, but has also restored space-time to normal. The alien who attacked me has vanished, sir. Warbird has vanished as well. Judging from the residual temporal fluctuations, I believe they have returned to their own time continuum. Captain? It's going to take a little time to explain, number one. Captain's log, stardate 46945.3. We successfully evacuated the crew of the Romulan ship and were on course to the neutral zone to bring them home.